Hi, Manish Mehta with the New York Daily News previewing week four, the Jets at the Ravens. Let's first go through some injuries. All-Pro center Nick Mangle dealing with a high ankle sprain didn't play last week against the Raiders. He didn't practice on Wednesday. The Jets are going to see if he'll practice later in the week. Rex Ryan did say he'd like to see him on the field this week before giving him the green light to play on Sunday. Uh, it was very difficult just watching a game at home, um, knowing that you're helpless to do anything uh, other than you know mess with the remote. So uh, it wasn't a fun thing. Cornerback Antonio Cromartie bruised his lungs and ribs last week. He didn't practice Wednesday either. For his injury, it's really more about pain tolerance. I suspect he'll be able to play on Sunday. And finally, Mark Sanchez broke his nose in the second half of the Raiders' loss. He had a protective shield for the remainder of the game. He'll have that protective shield until further notice. He should be fine. Now let's get to the three keys to the game. First and foremost, the Jets have to do a much better job in stopping the run. Last week, the Raiders ran for 234 yards against their defense. The linebackers have to do a much better job of setting the edge and making sure that Ravens running back Ray Rice doesn't get to the boundary because if he does, you could see a repeat performance from last week. When you look at the numbers, one that's scary is we're 31st in the league in run defense. And I'm like, like, how many teams are there? A thousand? You know, I mean, no, there's 32. Uh, that's a, that number that's alarming to me. They, they try to get Ray Rice on the perimeter in the run game. Uh, they, they try to get him out of the backfield uh, in the passing game. It's it, it fits right up their alley. You know, they're a great screen team. So you know, once again, a, an easy way to get him on the edge. So uh, they're, they're going to run their offense. Secondly, the Jets offensive line has to do a much better job in protecting Mark Sanchez, who was sacked three times in the third quarter last week. One of those sacks obviously resulted in the broken nose. So if the offensive line can keep Sanchez upright, he may have opportunities to get the ball into his playmakers. We, uh, we pride ourselves in, in protecting the quarterback, and uh, that's, that's a part of me, you know, making sure I understand the protections, making sure I, uh, I get the ball out on time. And when I do stretch a play out to the sidelines to get rid of it in time or complete the ball early enough to where I'm not putting myself in harm's way. And finally, staying on the offensive side of the ball, the Jets' run game really has to pick up. They're averaging only 3.4 yards a carry on the season, and Sean Green, in his first season as the feature back, only 3.3 yards a carry. Green did say that even though the Ravens are historically solid against the run, the Jets won't shy away from it, and they will take their shots handing the ball off. In this business, you win a game however you can win it. If that's running the ball 50 times, then we're going to run it 50 times. If it means passing it 50 times, we're going to pass it 50 times. So any, um, each and every week, it pulls a different, you know, each team pulls a, a different obstacle for you. It's definitely a big game. I mean, you know, I've played in a few of these Baltimore, you know, clashes. So, uh, you know, you know I, got, I got a lot of respect for a lot of guys that play over there. You know, they get out there defensively. And, you know, they're, they're playing great football right now, there's no doubt about it. And, uh, you know, I think it's a good, I think it's a good challenge for us right now. We're, we're going to have to be on our A game in every area of the game. You know, the running game, the passing game. The line's going to have to hold up. The receivers going to have to get open. The marks going to have to make good checks. And you know, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a good test for us. But we're more than capable of winning this game.